Hi, I'm Hemant and let me introduce you to the new HTML Canvas document added in the latest update of Flash Pro that is Flash 13.1.0.217 HTML5 export from Flash Pro started with a complementary extension released by Adobe called Toolkit for CreateJS With this toolkit, you could export your Flash Pro content using the CreateJS suite of open source libraries to HTML5 this extension was released for Flash Pro CS6, that is Flash Pro 12.0. This extension was further updated and version 1.2 of the extension was bundled along with Flash Pro CC 13.0. Since this was extension, there are a number of limitations for the users. And now with Flash Pro 13.1, the Flash Pro content can, is, can be exported to HTML5 natively in the new HTML canvas document and thus there is no need of extension. That is, when you publish from the HTML canvas document, you will publish HTML and JavaScript directly. Just like you publish content from an ActionScript 3, just like you publish a SIF from your ActionScript 3 document. With this new document type, authoring content for HTML5 canvas is much more deeply integrated into Flash Pro, thus creating rich artwork, graphics, animations for HTML5 using the familiar Flash Pro tools and workspace is a lot, whole lot easier. Apart from publishing, there are a number of updates in the authoring environment to ease the HTML content creation. Let's go through them. Let's create a new HTML canvas document. When you open the new document dialog, you will see there the HTML5 canvas. That's the new HTML canvas document added. Click on OK. There you go. First, to differentiate your HTML canvas document from a S3 document, the word canvas is appended along with the file name in the title menu. Here you can see the word canvas along with the file name. As I mentioned previously, this HTML canvas document publishes only HTML and JavaScript file. Thus the published settings of this new document has been rewritten to suit, the, suit for HTML export. If you are familiar with the toolkit extension, you will see that all the settings in the toolkit extension panel have been moved to the public settings of this new HTML canvas document. Thus, we can customize your HTML export. Since you cannot publish a script from your HTML canvas document, you will see all the publishing related action script have been removed here. In the toolkit extension, let me show you it in CS6. In the toolkit extension, timeline scripts for exporting to HTML, that is JavaScript on timeline, was added in the comments block in actions panel. This was very boring. Now with the new HTML canvas document, there is support for JavaScript editing in actions panel. Along with JavaScript editing, there is code coloring support for core JavaScript objects. Also now code editing for JavaScript and create JS library APIs are also supported. Let me create a small circle using CreateJS APIs and show you how code hinting and code coloring works in the new HTML canvas document. Let me first stop the timeline here. As you saw, there is code hinting coming up. Let me create a circle and CreateJS is the namespace for all the CreateJS related APIs. Let me create a shape object and add a graphics with a circle to it. You can see the CreateJS that is EaselJS APIs are very much similar to AS3 APIs. I'll create a red color circle. Let me draw a circle now at x200. Even the function in tooltips as you can see here are also provided for JavaScript in the new Actions panel of the new CreateJS document. Let me add this new shape. Okay. Uh, let me publish this. So there you go. There is the circle which I created using CreateJS API using code. You can see it's not a SIF, it's a HTML. So that's about the announcement in the code editor.
to help you we have added a few javascript snippets in the code snippets panel there you are along with action script snippets there are also now html5 canvas snippets too so let me add a snippet to this movie clip here i'll add a snippet to tween this movie clip using create js api so let me select the movie clip and tween this code there you are the create js code is added to the movie clip that is my movie and it tweens using create js is bound out tween and let me add one more snippet to it that is if a user clicks on this movie clip he should be navigated to adobe page so select the movie clip and select this uh, click to go to web page in the actions folder once i double click as you can see so when the user clicks there is a listener for this movie clip that is my movie when he clicks in the function a new window is open let me just publish this there you can see the movie clip is tweening using the create js api code so when i click on it then user is navigated to the adobe.com site so those are the announcements in the code snippets now in the html canvas document a number of flash features which were not supported in for html expert expo in toolkit 1.0 are now supported so let me show you the list of new features supported here you go a new features like multi symbol tween layers mismatch symbols in tweens bitmap fill transformations empty symbols a new timeline bounds apis custom images and oriented path in classic tweens the js error for missing fonts and the basic support for color filters and much more support is support has been added to the new html canvas document let me show you demo of a few of these new features let us start with the multi symbol tween layer until now when you export a flash content to canvas you could have just a single movie clip on your tween layer but now with the html canvas document you can have multiple symbols in a single tween layer here you can see in this document you have a square symbol at the starting and then as you move the square symbol is gone and there is a in the same layer there is a circle symbol now when i publish you can see the square and the circle twins from one corner to another and this multi symbol twin layers are now supported in the latest html5 canvas document now let's go to bitmap fills if you have worked with toolkit previously you know that bitmap fills were supported but if you bitmap fills transformation was not actually getting exported in the toolkit version 1.2 but with the new html canvas document bitmap fill transformations are supported so here you can see a rectangle which i filled with a bitmap and i transformed the rectangle let me publish it and here you go the content is very much similar to how it looks in a swift so that was a bitmap fill transformation let's talk about empty symbols so what is this empty symbols flash pro allows you to create rich assets and there are n number of times where you want to just export this assets and you do not want to add anything on stage previously if you did if you didn't add any if you don't add any symbol on stage uh, symbols were never exported let me symbols were never exported by create JS, by toolkit but now with html canvas document you can just create your assets store them in library and the assets which are in library with a linkage are always exported even though there is no symbol added on stage let us export this file and you can see there is there are no symbols on stage and there are only two movie clips in library with linking them circle and square let me publish it no let us just explore the javascript of this web page and see if the to every symbol circle in square exported as you can see 
here is a circle which is exported and here is a square so thus you can export your library assets directly to a javascript file there is no need of adding any content or stage to export your content also with the latest version of html canvas document custom uses in classic twins and orient to path in classic twin also is supported you can see here is a classic twin applied to a movie clip as you can see orient to path is selected and you can see how the object behaves when orient to path is selected let me just remove orient to path in select you can see the symbol just moves plainly so let me again select uh, orient to path and also as you can see the custom is i modified the graph let me publish it so this you can see with the html canvas document even custom images and orient to path is also supported for html export so that about classic twin and also with the html canvas document a new set of filters that is color effects as you can see i applied a advanced color effect for this particular object and also blur and adjust filter is also supported let me publish this movie clip to which i applied color effect blur and adjust color filter so there you see the movie clip object is exported just like how it is in a sense so that's about the new feature supported in supported for html export in the new html canvas document also the html canvas document exports content using the latest create js libraries the latest version of create js libraries are like this this latest version of create js libraries are updated the host of new features there is a new event model to just a name a few and there are number of bug fixes even though flash pro supports most of the features for html export there are still a few features in flash pro which are yet to be supported for html export a few of these tools and features are actually disabled in html canvas document like you can see in this html canvas document the 3d transform tool is support is disabled also if you select a line all the line styles apart from solid are all disabled if you select a text tool you can see only dynamic text is enable all of the text types are all disabled and if you select the paragraph extreme you can see the behavior is actually disabled there are n number of tools which are not supported which are actually disabled but there are a few features like i'll show you here that if i select sorry there are a few features even though are not are not supported for html export are not disabled like the radial gradient radial gradient is actually supported for html export but if i make a transformation on this gradient like if i change it from circular to oval this is not supported but you can see there is a difference between html and the javascript and the uh, swift content but even though this feature is not supported and not disabled a warning is thrown in the output panel telling the user that this particular uh, feature is not supported and there might be a difference between the html content exported and the content exported in this case now how do you export uh, migrate your legacy as3 content to a new html canvas document there are actually two ways to do this either you copy paste all your content from your as3 document to the new a uh, yeah, html canvas document manually or there is one more way where you can convert your html canvas to as3 document using a script in the commands menu let me convert one for you now so here is a s3 document so let me convert it to a html canvas document 
So go to commands menu and there is this command called convert to HTML5 canvas from AS3 document. When you click on it, it asks you to save. Let me just say it on desktop. There you are. Similar to the S3 file, the S3 file is converted to HTML canvas document. And also, if there are some any unsupported feature, those warnings are shown in the output panel. Here you can see the frame scripts which are actually accessed are all commented out here. Generally, when you convert a S3 document to HTML canvas document, if there are any unsupported content type, it is either removed like videos and fonts or converted to a default like if a movie clip has a 3d transform feature it is just removed from the movie clip yeah also with this new document on test movie or command network control entity uh, you get a published preview of that movie clip in the browser and you can see The content exported from the new document is an HTML page, a JavaScript, and all the library assets and images are uh, exported to sounds and images folder. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was useful. In the future videos, I'll be talking more deeply about migrating content from AS3 to HTML canvas document and also walk you through the code exported from this new HTML canvas document. Thank you.